Okay, well, that, which was my last save? Freaking American date system. That one. What is the fun in the Pacifist Award, honestly? Um, okay, I remember where we were. I don't remember which way I was going, but I remember getting frustrated enough with the bitch in this room. Ha <laughs> ha! Mail, hey, how are you? Try that again. Ah, oh, the camera. That is the coup of the evening. <laughs> it goes away, did it? Yep. This is Red's latest addition to the collection. She's so cute, though. She really is. Okay, well that was just, that was satisfying. <clears throat> Home stretch and mouse is high red. Boop. All right. <clears throat> oh good, I can get them from here. Kibbutz, welcome! God, that's satisfying. <clears throat> Quick save again, because I'm a wuss. <laughs> I have, the cough is still fierce, so I'm just holding it back, something fiercer. But how do I get up here? <clears throat> oh, this is entirely logical actually. Was that something under there? No, it's just light. Selt, how are you? I wonder if I timed it well and caught Ela just as he was on his way out for the groceries. <clears throat> um. Look at me remembering that there's a torch and everything. <clears throat> These things remind me of the little rats out of blood. Oh, hey guys. Do I have a grenade? I do not have a grenade. It will never not irk me that it doesn't auto switch away from the SSG gun when you've only got one round. Right, we can't do anything with that. Where the hell are they? <clears throat> okay, what else do I have? A crossbow? The mortar, that will end well. 
We've got a key, but we've got the wrong key, apparently. <clears throat> I'm just happy that I got enough done this week that I could justify streaming at all. I was expecting to work through tonight. As it is, I'm working through the weekend, but... Friday night is a time that no one anywhere ever is going to give a fuck about someone else getting work done, so... Oh, we can shoot through the ground. Quite effectively, apparently. I didn't quite mean to go down here, but I'll take it. Getting stuck on the terrain and unaliving myself, and now we've got to live with our mistakes. Alright, it's giving me... Oh, I fucking heard that. <clears throat> now we know, but let's finish exploring up here first. No, we've done that bit. We wanted the next level down. So there's a blue key there. Explosives are the wrong, nope, explosives are entirely the wrong thing for this, but we've got absolutely fuck all else to work with. Hunting rifle, maybe. There is not enough pr uh, hit scan ammo in this level. Fucking terrain. Right. <clears throat> Actually, where'd that river to go? I want to use that. Quick save. Alright, SSG gun. Oh, you're up there. That works well enough. Um, right, so fire to yeet. Oh, ammo. Quick save. Do I need to stack these barrels to get up there? Did I just fuck myself on stream? Oh no, there's a teleporter. We may never know. I solved it like right after I answered the question. Uh, we've got a yellow key, some ammo, because the game heard me winching about the ammo situation as it instead sticks me on a fucking staircase. Alright, now that one opened, that one did not, okay. Oh, what an obscure place for a blue door, I'm going to forget that that's there and spend half an hour screeching about bad map design when it's just my own lousy memory. But now we know to expect it. 
Right, the yellow door was back this away. So the mortar and riveter do in fact use different ammo pools. Good to know. Oh well, since we get extra shots for it. Right, so that's a pack of ten, duly noted. Oh. Controller log. Wish. <clears throat> uh, it is. It is. Stating the obvious there. Quick save. What's down here? Half expected one of those deer things down here. Okay, <clears throat> this is certainly, there it is. Is that a different texture? No. Um, get out of here. Loot. Shit, we've got full health. I can't remember the last time we had that. Quick save. More ammo? Okay. Okay. Hadn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> what Red said. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck on these fucking pillars! Squish! Right, where is she? So we beat one of them, thanks to Mail's cheese. Thank you again for that that tip, Mail. There's a switch there. The survivor. Fuck you. Did I use... I can't get back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Level down. That ended up being a good level. I didn't find the blue key. 
and we, we couldn't backtrack from where we were, so oh well. <clears throat> Alright. This is a thing. Jeez, I wonder what it's preparing me for. Can I just... No, it doesn't seem that I can. Oh, I fucking heard that! Alright. Oh, I can just peek. Really? I can just peek? Oh, can I fucking cheese this? Oh, I feel like I should be- I feel like I should be able to glide through that or something. Oh, that feels so cheap and I love it. Alright, apparently we've got to do this legit. Okay, what the fuck? What's on this side then? Alright, so it's basically two mazes with dickhead fucking grenade launching assholes in each. Noted. And holy shit, the fucking health on them! I have a feeling this is going to be a short stream. I don't have the patience to get stuck on fucking mazes for 90 minutes. Oh my fucking god, let me move around, please. Where is he? Oh, there he is. No, we've got 14 health, I'm not gonna last. Okay, how can I cheese this? Because I have no interest in that at fucking all. Just none. Confined space with something that's just gonna fucking carpet bomb? Get fucked that I am going to find any way that I can fucking get out of doing that that I possibly can because that is just bullshit that is actually something I finally found something I actively don't like about this game is that this level like some of the early early episode 2 design I didn't like just from a design point because it was too fucking aimless but this this is just fucking dumb If I just don't move... Alright, so we don't have to kill them. Fuck's sake, he just fucking teleports! Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's just get this done. I don't like this, I don't want to do this, but it's the only way to get through to the next bit. Apparently. Yeah, the cunt fucking teleports! Would have been so good if it would have changed me to a weapon at any point then. Just saying. <sighs> no, you can't avoid the fighters we've just seen. He joins us in here when 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 he's when we're done.
Of course I'm out of health. And there's no feedback as to which ones of these we've done. <sighs> no, you can't skip it. You actually have to fucking kill this thing. You actually have to fucking kill this thing. There is no strategy for this one. It fucking teleports up your ass and, and spams fucking grenades. There is no strategy for this. There's no terrain that I can use. Probably have to use its fucking grenades to rocket jump up there to get that stuff. I'm assuming there's just the one of these assholes. <sighs> what else do we do? And there's goodies in there. That feels like it should be a thing. <sighs> Let's do this again. Oh my fucking god, hit the fucking switch when I fucking used the use key. <sighs> Firstly... Um... Where... Is auto run? I remember there being an auto run setting. There we go. Right, so I want that for a start. Try that one again. Get fucked. Get fucked, the one time you don't fucking teleport. Fuck off! This just feels like absolute fucking rubbish. Whoever designed this level, your mum's a whore. Right, what do we do? I swear to god if this is a fucking combination lock. It's a fucking combination. Are you serious? Fuck that level. In no uncertain terms, fuck that level. It was a secret good fucking joke. Nah, that level... That level was absolute fucking trash. <clears throat> now 
As you step into the unholy portal, powered by ungodly beings, there is no doubt what you must do. Find a better fucking game at this point. Hubris and fanaticism have woken something powerful. Horrible beyond anything you can imagine. You must uncover the truth. Who knows what nightmares await you in the nameless city. Alright, episode 3. I'm not surprised that you did mail. Not at all. Right, we've got sickles. The sword is a silent takedown. Okay. We have a stealth mechanic now. Professor Gascan, we need you. Let's see if this game goes back to being good. I don't need those apparently. Right, so there, there's something back there. I just circle corridors with a crossbow. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Is this this way of telling me that we're going to be starving for ammo this episode? Kill him. Not <clears throat> I mean, the sword's fucking things up at least. But I'd tend to do a good enough job of that myself. The fuck are you? Okay. So we have screeching night things. Yeah. At 50 or more morale. Okay. Soap. Okay, but I'd rather just go back to using the soap, honestly. We took a beating in here. I have a feeling this level is going to be one of those maps that we're just stumbling along until it finishes. This doesn't feel like the kind of map that you go into feeling happy with yourself. <clears throat> we have a key though now, we have a blue key. Which is not that door. Oh, okay. Was that door? Crystal of Madness. Squish. The jibs are so satisfying in this game. So you're probably right. It's probably like a, a House of Cthon type fucking secret. <clears throat> okay. That works. 
What's about on this side? Oh, just a door. Just fucking rip and tear, I guess. I mean, right now, we're pretty good with just the sword. Ooh, secret. Okay. That's a lot of madness crystals. <laughs> it's starting to feel like that. Okay. <clears throat> Go lefty. I believe in you. Ah, you let me down, Lefty. Right, there's the blue door. Grenades. <sighs> oh, I don't need that. Um... Alright, so if they're melee range, then it doesn't matter what I'm using. You, dude, are entirely too agile. Fuck you. You serious? That took two hits. Oh good, I can just hold it down. Backtrack a minute because I haven't saved in a while. Another crossbow. But that was totally me choosing to do things the hard way. Alright, obvious path to progression. Literal arrow! Wow. But thank you. It's a little more subtle than Sandy Peterson's fucking arrow in map 13. Heretic. Whoa, that was disorienting. Fucking slaughter map. Gotta go back and kill this other one. No survivors and all. <clears throat> Alright, that's them dead. There are more. Oh, hey guys. The quick save. What are you? Alright. That was... Okay. I'm not even mad that I've got three health. That was almost cute. Almost. Killed by the pain sector. Uh, 
Okay. We're marginally better. Oh, that's the end of the level? Nope. Really? I can't load my game? Okay. I don't know why it crouches me when I load, but I want to go back and have a quick look for health. Like I said, this was a map that I stumble through until suddenly it's over. I totes called that. Hit points. Where are you? Oh, there's stuff in the vase. Yoink. Some crossbow bolts in there that I don't need. I mean, a couple of bullets is better than nothing, I suppose. But I'd really hoped to find just a little more health. Yeet. Half expected the candle to injure me. There's a health bonus and there's some med kits. Now I believe we, we left some morale bonuses behind. <clears throat> and some hit points. I know I left a diamond in that staircase, for example. Wall. Oh my lord. Thank you, game. Um, this away. No, that away. Definitely that away. There it is. There's the soap that we dropped. I mean, even if I don't find my way back to those med kits, we're already looking much better. A lot better than we were. In fact, I'm fairly happy to move on with this. So we shall do just that. Ammo, don't need it apparently. Alright. <clears throat> we killed everything on that level. Seems a bit off that lava can't hurt me, but fireballs still can. stuff taking shots at me from above as well apparently quick save because I'm not looking the best way I'm going to assume that we don't have to just stack barrels on top of each other to progress cuz that would be real dickish
<laughs> I can't even be mad. That was friggin' adorable. Oh, that's a uh, uh, rune. Door opens elsewhere. Quick save. The Tramapoline level. Alright, he's dead. Um, <laughs> skip stuff like certain bosses. Find that the secret level of this episode is just a slaughter map of those things. Shotgun. Uh, so far, these levels in this episode are so much better designed than last episode. Is there anything in the barrels? No. Oh wait, we've got sickles. Alright, so that's the thing. Um. <clears throat> Quick save. Get fucking wrecked. Alright. Let's see if we can get back to some of that. Some of those darts we left back at the top. Oh. And apparently, a whole bunch of health that I left. Totally not worth it. Darts up here. Oh, I don't need them. Okay. Nope. I fucking love this cheese so much. Go grab another pack of, of bolts. Go damn it, go damn it. Oh wow, okay. Quick save. Back here. <laughs> right, it gave us fuel cans, I'm not sure why.
Where do we go next? Oh. Oh god. I hate this already. Oh my god, let me up! Right, which one of these do we have to fucking climb? Up here? Oh my god, it's inverted! Just let me up! Oh my god, we can't actually climb that. Take three. <laughs> Have fun, Selt. Right, so we can't actually get up there, apparently. Oh, that feels just awful. Honestly, feels like a mandatory secret. Alright. Um, well, let's see if there's anything to kill. Oh, hey guys. And we got a blue key. I do like that the keys look different each level. Okay, it brings us back up there, because logical game design. Again, this entire episode is head and shoulders above episode 2 already. Not that episode 2 set the bar very high. Well, we've already got that. Um, we're done here. Okay, moving on. Saw that hit hit point, that health pack over there. Plop that down there for when we find whatever it's meant to be applied to. There it is. Oh, I see you, Soap. I don't need you, but I see you.
quick save. Brings us back out here, okay. This is backtrack from a ball. Get out of here. Like so. Should probably switch to our shotguns for a bit. We have so much ammo lying around for them. Okay, well we're going to go back in for that shotgun ammo we just walked past. Uh, not there. Honestly, that was probably something I should have done with the um, with the crossbow. That would have been incredibly satisfying with the crossbow. Oh, what boss fight do we have here? The waves of destruction. Can I light you? Yay, warmth. No, I didn't want... Uh, waste. Utter wastage. Alright, before I hit this, what's in here? <clears throat> A red key. I can't. Whoa! I can't just, like, run to it. I can't SR50 through the bar or something. No. Okay, let's see what bullshit the map has for me. Oh, was it? Oh, it was over here. Fling, fling, fling. Where's the boss? Eh. Let's see if we can get by without them. Mostly because I really don't have the health to pick a fight with them now. Squish. Yep, that wasn't going to end well. Uh, 
Uh, we can do that bit more clean. Ela, how are you? They make a squeeing noise as they die. Alright, well, I'm going to quick save, run back for some shotgun ammo that we've been leaving behind, and then we're done with this map. Am I full up on darts? I must be full of darts. Yep. Alright, well then we're done with this map. <clears throat> Doing finish? How's dusk? Um, episode 2 frankly was disappointing and had a frustrating ending that could go suck a cactus off. Episode 3 though is really good so far. I'm really enjoying episode 3. Ah. Right, what's the boss fight? Right, I'm looking around here, there's no way that there isn't a boss fight in here. I didn't mean for that, but I'll take it. I forgot they had homing fireballs. Heretic. The latest in heat seeking heat technology. see that key but I want to go up here first. The house opens. So I, be, I should be standing in front of each door. I should be standing in front of each door firing the crossbow into them. Grab that key now, I suppose. Yeah, I fucking... I knew something was gonna come up. Fucked.
somehow still alive. I have no idea how. Those things are growing on me. Worked. Yoink. I uh, see medis medical kit. No. Drat. <clears throat> In fact, we went backwards then. It's the opposite of getting healthy. I see that. Uh, we'll find another way in. Fucking things. Save. Okay, I'm somewhere. Level being so dark that I can't really really see where I'm going. Is that the soap all the way there? It's the fucking soap. Oh, I love it. Well played, designer. See, whoever did this episode, could they go back and redo episode two so it, you know, doesn't suck? I do like that that respawns. <clears throat> That's a yellow door. We need a yellow key for that logically. Where was the red door? I just went past that. Fuck you. Ah, let's go back and get that climbing thing. He says getting distracted. Stuff. I like stuff. Alright, so we know we've got plenty of health lying around the map now. And for next time I fuck up. Morale. Madness crystals. Oh, oh, where was that red door?
the eternal problem for open maps like this is you lose track of where where the things were Yellow red, yay! Heretic. Don't go in the well. Guess where we're going? <clears throat> I want their sword. Right, so the well is open. Those battering rams are almost cute. Like angry puppy. Right, well, we'll go back grab this health. Okay, that was the thing. Alright, but we can't keep putting this off. Let's get in there. <clears throat> that was a waste of health. What do we do in here? Like, we're gonna drown before we work out what the point is. Alright, so the... Breath holding is merciful as all oh, fuck in this. <clears throat> we just... Oh, we just... He's cute! I don't want to hurt him! Nope, I'm not hurting him. I am not hurting poor little Chomper. Nope. Dear male. See, I don't know if he teleports to join us or something. <clears throat> anyway, we have a yellow key, but I actually want to go back through here. I got losing my um, ability to move quickly is frustrating.
Baby chompers! Not even mad. Not even mad. Oh god, where are they? <clears throat> I really like the Chompers, they just became my favourite critter in the, in the entire game. This cute little angry fish. And they go nom. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, that that was another good map. Oh, this is, yeah, this is. Peak dusk this episode, I'm loving it. Of course it broke my torch. there. Yeah, I'm cheesing it. Like, there's something behind there, but I don't know if I'm just pissing it off. <clears throat> or little madness rooms. Straight to a key. I feel like the sword is the best thing for close quarters like this. <clears throat> I'm guessing the morale functions as armor as like a, a sanity mechanic. I can't think of anything else it would meaningfully be. The basement door opens. Alright, that is fucking scary and I love it. I'm just gonna walk around. Oh, I've got max health. That won't last. <clears throat> I'm just gonna walk around swinging my sword, and if more of them turn up and just happen to get stabbed, it's their own fault. Do we keep getting fires to light, but no viscera to cook? I wonder if there's a boss of those. The chaos crawls to me. Fuck, that's so cool! Aww. Hello, old friend, indeed. Hmm. That brings us back up here. <clears throat> God, 
they make my skin crawl, it's so cool. Like those things just rushing you out of the dark. <sighs> this is so cool. The closer they got, the more they suffered. Oh. Fucking little things. <clears throat> oh my fucking god, those little fucking mice. Oh, <sighs> well. <clears throat> What do they even do? They're literally just running jump scares. And the game does nothing to hide them. It let it feeds you the dread of of them being, you know, of them coming up. Yeah, I got my torch back. Do I have to pick this up? Good. I don't want to. <clears throat> Alright, we've got a yellow key so we can backtrack. <clears throat> no, we've got a blue key. Sorry, we already had a yellow key. We started with that. <clears throat> Red door, shotgun. This is shaping up to be my favorite level of the game so far. So where, oh where, was the blue door? Down here? <clears throat> Pardon me. No? Was it up? No. Right, so through here, that opened the basement. Let's go back down to the basement then. Because I know I've seen a blue door. I just can't recall where I've seen it. Oh, we can sleep multiple times. <clears throat> Or maybe we can sleep if our morale is past a certain point. Um, don't want that. Being in here. There's the blue door. Guys are up there. <clears throat> oh, that was such a waste. What did they even do? Like, 
What's your thing? I don't know what they do. That was purely for science. <clears throat> Alright. Shells. I just wanted to see if they actually attack. They just seem to stand there and freak you out. They don't seem to actually have an attack. Save. <clears throat> right, so they fire some kind of projectile out of their eyes. I know I left one of those wraiths. You okay, Red? Okay. Gonna go outside and get um food. <clears throat> well. Alright, we still have Riffage which is telling me something's still alive. <sighs> I'm kind of tempted to leave it alive actually. Oh, there they are. Okay, let's get back and get some health. Where is some health? Some morale. <clears throat> hmm. Well, that's as good as we're getting. Alcove opens. Which alcove? <clears throat> ah, up there. We've now got all three keys. This is such a well designed level. Oh, I hate this. Okay. Best map of the game so far. Without a doubt, my favorite level so far. <clears throat> okay, this looks cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Got a church. We've got... Oh, this... Please tell me this is a boss level. This is too much open space to not be a boss level. <clears throat> Pardon me. We found the soap. <clears throat> no. It's not worth grabbing the soap in between each one. <clears throat> Pardon me, in between each kill, but it is worth grabbing in between each round. So I'm gonna assume each one of each switch will spawn a wave of those. They're different waves each time. I can get behind that. <clears throat> okay. That's two out of three. <clears throat> what have we got this time? Was that all of them? Pardon me. I'm fairly sure that was all of them. There were three. Or was it three to go? Maybe there's one more. Yep, here we go. That's all of them. I'm taking my soap. I'm going to get some healing. That concludes the healing. <clears throat> Rising wind brings the stench of rotten meat. <clears throat> that is fucking cool.
Okay, so tornado bad. Gotcha. <clears throat> This is a very close runner-up for my, my favorite game. My favorite map in the game. No, I want my soap. <clears throat> ah. Quick save. <clears throat> this has a very end gamey feel to it. Red K. And riff hits like someone owes it money. Right, that brings us back out here. Yes. Fuck you. Why did I auto switch that time? Oh, so it auto switched me then. <clears throat> the 
I've got more health than I expected. <clears throat> right, this brings us back out here. Given us a rocket launcher in a confined space, which totally ends well. They actually gave me the, the backing that I needed for my crosshair to be visible. <clears throat> Fuck you. Yeah, this feels sus. <clears throat> That was really cool, but it felt like it should have been end boss territory. Brimstone Ghetto. Can't quite get there. <clears throat> Where are you? <laughs> Fast fire pistols are so fucking dumb. I love it. I have a feeling this is going to be a weaker level just because of the, the layout. I'm getting very much episode 2 vibes from this map, which... As long as this is the only map that that feels like that, I can forgive it. You missed the tornado. It was freaking awesome. I totally expected end boss at that point. No, I don't want to waste a med kit. I'll 
I'll grab you. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> I'm assuming it's just there as an exit. Nope, don't need that. But yeah, this is just feeling, this map feels too open. This is very much episode 2's problem. As I understand the design choice, oh, I hate that. I understand why they went with that, with the design choice, but it's just too open. Where the fuck do I go? That was a secret, apparently. What am I looking for? It's all just brown and foggy. <clears throat> there's no... There's no door. Like, if honestly, if there was a locked door somewhere... I would know that I need to adventure somewhere away from that locked door in order, in order to find the key. But here it's just like, yep, it's brown. Start humping walls, I guess. Nope, not in there. Huh. <clears throat> What does that even do? Well, that's gonna run out before I even know what the fuck it does or where I'm meant to be going. I don't know what I'm meant to do. Alright, so we know there's a secret there. Whoop de shit. <clears throat> Honestly, don't give a shit about the secret. If anything, I'm wasting it. Is there a space through the ceiling or something that we can get? I don't know, this honestly feels like a dead end. I don't know what we're meant to do, where we're meant to go. There's no starting point. There's just, yep, here's a, a, a big open space. Here's a slightly less open space, but that goes nowhere. So that you can feel like you found a thing and then psych no you didn't that's just a secret that we've already found That's shit. Can't see a shaft in here that we can take.
There's one. Yoink. <laughs> oh god, that's hilarious. Nope, no, no. Okay, that good that that just went really bad really quickly. Okay. <clears throat> well thankfully we found our way, but still that was rubbish. That I I put that under mandatory secret easily. Where now? I love them. They are my favorite, my favorite enemy in the game. That was it, the Crypt of Flesh or whatever it was called. My favorite map. <clears throat> this place condemned. I'm shit faced. Ah, uh, quick save. Probably not worth it at all. Now we haven't seen them in a while, but I'm going to reload because we were much healthier before that. Okay, so we need to not fall in the hole.
soundtrack is so good. Come back. Yoink, so I can grab these and go over a hundred. End of level? End of level. Right, what else is there to grab around here then before we move on? We're in really good shape for the end of a map. Quick save, where do you go? No, I don't need anything from back there. We're good. <laughs> oh, the rage quit was going to be that boss fight on um, E2M8 or whatever it was. Best time, that's my best time, I'm, I'm sure. This looks cool. <clears throat> I hope this is boss map. I'm sure it's not. The logic is telling me that there's still one more. Where'd the other one go? No idea. <laughs> the tornado was so cool. Hopefully, um, YouTube's algorithm picks that for the thumbnail. We. Okay. Fuck him. <clears throat> but imagine that as a pain elemental. Upstairs. <clears throat> okay, apparently it doesn't want me going upstairs yet. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I have no red key. God damn it, that's a death. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, I fucking see you. I hate this so much. Oh, that feels like fucking shit. Oh, 
I really love the monster design in this. <clears throat> they give off that total be not afraid biblical angel vibe. Um. <laughs> Touch. Uh, how about now? Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go molest the thing now. <clears throat> oh, okay. Ah, oh, we can get up this way. No, we can't. All right. Holy fuck, that's disorienting. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this so much. Like, what the fuck is happening? Gravity direction changed. So we need this to get over there. Oh, this is fucking horrible. <clears throat> So, gra up is down now. So, I wouldn't mind that if we could actually still, like, move. So, it hasn't actually flipped gravity. It's rotated at 90 degrees. Which is, I think, worse for some reason. Let's see if we can suss this. No, don't you dare fucking back roll, you prick. <laughs> oh, we were so fucking close. God, this is like that fucking horrible game. What is it? Race the sun that my kids got me into. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. This is just no. <laughs> this is so bad. Like, how do I get, how do I get back down? God, this... In its own way, this is about as enjoyable as that fucking map. <clears throat> I hate that roll so much. Right, well, we're here now. I want to go down there, I want to boop the frog snoots, I've had enough of this. Don't tell me there are too many frogs, I'll tell you when there are too many frogs. Oh come on, I was there, I saved there! Fuck off. I fucking saved while I was there. Okay, we're going backwards now. So 
So it doesn't just reverse gravity, but it changes direction every time you... <laughs> every time you load as well, which... Fuck that. I hate this. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't barrel rolling your fucking view while it's doing it. That's the part that's getting me, is it's actively disorienting. Holy shit, why can't I turn my view? Pro tip developers. Um... I can't see it. <clears throat> this is shit. This is absolute shit. Because the inability to tell me where my feet are, and that fucking barrel roll. But losing where my feet are every single time. I fucking saved it there. I had a fucking save. Where is up? I hate that roll so fucking much. Alright. Save. Did you see that game? I fucking saved. That needs a blue key. We have a red. Red key's back at the other house. <clears throat> can't even get there. <sighs> Why did I need to touch that fucking thing? Like, here's the key you need to progress, and here's the thing that's going to make it physically fucking impossible to play the map now. Side by side, with a prompt to touch the latter. Enjoy mail. Thank you for stopping by. The company has been appreciated. I'm sure the rage will continue for a little while longer. I see that. <clears throat> I think it's back to normal. God, I hate that roll. Okay. <clears throat> Holy shit, fuck. I still want the frogs. T 
telling me what I don't want to do game. Oh, well, if I just do this, I can just get enough momentum to just go roll my way back to back home. <clears throat> We quick save, quick load. See, I know that they're there to get that really satisfying sweep of them as you go across the. No. As you go across the um the roof, really. You know, fuck this level so hard. Okay, well, I'm not doing it again. Just no. <clears throat> oh, we can just do this, and it won't matter. Boop. I'm actually going to make another save. For that med kit. One of them, I'm not wasting the other. I'm also not fucking touching that. <laughs> no. Fuck that gravity mechanic so hard. You're meant to die when I eat when I eat soap at you, mate. <laughs> I walked in at an awesome moment. <laughs> I just hear you're gonna die when I eat soap at you. It's like okay. Yeah, bath time just got a whole lot more extreme. <laughs> rubber dub dub, motherfucker. <laughs> Where's his rubber ducky? Aww. You better rescue that first. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, I can sleep. Alright, what do I do with the soap now? Hmm. Right, it's giving me a gas can. Why is it giving me a gas can? Can that be exploded with it? Nope. So we're going to reload so that we can save that for whatever it does explode. Let me reiterate. There is precisely fuck all chance of me touching those gravity things again. <laughs> Damn right, Sal. <clears throat> hmm. 
And didn't you know? Anything that involves the word sleeping and random is obviously good for morale. Um... We're admiring the artworks. It's a portrait of my favorite fish. <clears throat> Okay, well, I guess I'm going to do a quick save before I touch the gravity thing because that would appear to be the only thing left to do. Right, we are just upside down now. Okay, that is work withable, I guess. That feels more, yeah, here we go. More purposeful, more deliberate. And we left our soap behind, damn it. Okay. Do I care to reverse the gravity again? Thankfully it does just reverse it. No, no, we, we, we've gone on a right angle again. Another right angle? God, this is so fucking silly. <laughs> right, yellow key. Save. Which way can we go? Fucking okay, I would jump at that. <clears throat> Just holy crap. That level went from being really cool to that gravity thing. Just no. Just no. <clears throat> All right, E three M eight. This is familiar. This is potential boss map. One hundred and four critters on this map, apparently. So maybe not boss map. I'm assuming there's no turning back. Yep. Okay. We've got Mr. Pointy ready. Oh. 
Okay. They went and went ahead and took care of themselves for us. Love those things so much. Didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> right, not yet. <clears throat> That, that might come in handy. I know, right? <clears throat> I mean, rocket jumps are for bitches, grenade jumps are where it's at. Sorry, little cows. Ow, by the way. Talk. Forty-two percent health. Yoink. <laughs> Water rounds, yes, please. So 
Look what the fuck is that? I haven't heard that in ages. There we go. Was that soap? No. <clears throat> Quick save. Need the red key. I don't have any keys yet. <laughs> Pardon me, that brings us back here. Oh, let's have a look outside. We didn't do that before. <clears throat> right, there's the asbestos thing. Not so hidden asbestos. I hate that mechanic so passionately. Yoink. What happens if I jump down here? Okay, so that's just a death. Okay, well, we have a red key now. We. Naturally. Nope. Nothing in there. Yep. Fucking, I remembered that hallway too. Don't want that yet. Okay, I'm going to go back for that. <clears throat> oh. Probably don't want to be wasting my rockets on this map. We were feeling end gamey like three maps ago. <clears throat> Can I skull this? 
Aw. Ripped off. Right, where to now? <clears throat> Quick save. I don't just go back the way I came, did I? No. <clears throat> Ah, there we go. What else is down here? I trust this about as much as I trust a soul sphere in a dark corridor. It's practically indestructible. Sounds like a fucking challenge if ever I've heard it. Feels like I need to get one of those battering rams up against it or something. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> My freaking ears. Is there another one of them? No, just the one. <clears throat> okay, well, let's stock up on everything. It is keeping me topped up now, which is also telling me we must be getting close to an end. <laughs> oh, we've got a yellow key now. Do we seriously just have to go stop that fucking roll? Do we just go back and back through? Yep. Okay. Sounded like a turret. That looked like a. Oh, I thought that was a cultist. I thought there'd be a second one. This is the first map. I know they didn't intend it to be adorable, but I end up feeling really bad for those, um, those black knights when I kill them. Oh. 
I'm gonna get some ammo. We have less ammo now than we started the ammo gathering quest with. <clears throat> but we picked up a rifle bullet. Okay, well, I'm going to assume that we are now heading into boss fight then. That has a certain finality about it. This looks cool. <clears throat> save. We're also going to do a hard save here. Show us that you are worthy. Soap. Okay, so there's no way there's just that one. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking dumb. Roughly how many... Ah, uh, indeterminate. Yay. Now we get them. 
I don't think I want that serum. God damn it. God oh, damn it. What's next? Oh, this is horrifying. Okay, <clears throat> what next? Oh, the, the cows are the last ones. Oh no, flamethrower dudes, okay.
God damn it. This is getting a little tedious. Not gonna lie. Like, does this at least top up my, my ammo? If I can pick it up? Oh my god, let me pick the fucking thing up! Yes, it does. Oh my god. Oh, for fuck's sake. And could you imagine if those skulls were homing? Oh, I've got to go back and pick up the fucking backpack. Nope. This is literally tedious now. Like, just let me move on with the level, please. Oh, come on! <sighs> I'm going to save there at least so I've got my um, backpack. could have ended three waves ago and gotten the same message across honestly. This is just circle strafing ad infinitum. God, they're still teleporting in. Right, I'm gonna leave the cow while I just gather up as many of these health bonuses as I can. So we get another backpack per wave, that's something. We haven't had a wave of those fucking mistress- a wave of rats, are you serious? Fucking troll -o lol Fucking Willard mode. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright, cultists and chainsaws. That's entirely live withable.
But again, we can just get them in fighting for the most part. <clears throat> All right, this one worries me. These are all much beefier. Ow, I should not have stopped moving. Okay. There's rapid ash and fucking asshole from the last episode. <laughs> he jumps around. You're never too eldritch to enjoy a trampoline apparently. Alright. Just sick with them all. Jesus Christ. We still haven't killed everything, apparently. Hey, the soap! Yoink. Forgotten all about that in the chaos. I mean, this wasn't an awful map, it just well overstayed its welcome. By the time we got to the cow round, I was already over it. You can only circle strafe an arena for so long. Okay, we're going to redo our hard save. <clears throat> that looks cool. Seven monsters on this map. A red crystal of madness. Oh wait, if I pop this on the thing... Ha! Huh. I guess the thing... You're falling down... Yeah, I mean, it's still bad level design, obviously. Soap. 
There's another one of our crystals. There's the final one. <clears throat> oh, we can't pick anything up. It's just... Okay. Interesting. Are there secrets on this map? There is one secret on this map. Let's see if we can find it before we kick off here. Alright, it's letting me pick those up. <clears throat> Maybe I was already um, full up of the um, other ammo. Nope, doesn't give me any bonus while I'm already at 100 health. Um. Hmm. If I were a secret, where would I be? Okay. Oh, come back. We've got a Stargate to open. Can I take them out? I don't get... I guess it doesn't really do anything. <clears throat> At last, <laughs> you finally arrived. <laughs> you shall be my final test. Okay. Which would be fucking great if I could, you know, use a weapon. I literally. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm reloading that because it wasn't actually letting me scroll to a weapon then. That was absolute rubbish. Alright. <clears throat> Come get it, Jacob. Actually, I want to save that, um... Save that backpack as well. Save all of that. <laughs> At last. <laughs> you finally arrived. <laughs> Shall be my final test. Oh, my God, give me a good weapon. He's so fucking fast.
Wait, what are my assets? He's too fast. Hit scan is fucking not doing it. <laughs> At last. <laughs> You finally arrived. You shall be my final test. Ow. Yeah, I'm happy to cheese that. Okay, one down, that's everyone on that map dead, or on the map so far. <clears throat> our torch doesn't, our torch gives no illumination. <clears throat> he was worthy, you know, and he accomplished so much. But then, you came along. You, who were stronger. You, who were faster. You, I like better. Who did you expect at the end of all of this? God? The devil, perhaps? No. It's just me. <laughs> Holy fuck, that is cool! Oh shit, we can actually move around this. So what are we aiming for, the mouth? Light. What light? Oh, there. Oh, 
I say... Can he hit me here? Oh, he can still hit me there. Oh, we've got no more health. Yep, we ran out of health there. So he's immune to damage again. Boop the light. Oh my god, let me... Which light? Where is it now? This health there. Which light? There it is. We didn't kill anything on that map. The cultists killed Jacob. They all got killed off themselves and then Nihilathotep wussed out at one hit point. So, uh, that should not give us pacifists though. Fucking cool end boss. Fucking cool end boss. That is what we expected at the end of Quake. Wonderful, yes. <laughs> Who you were before is insignificant. Who you are now is inconceivable. But here you shall remain till I have need of you again. For one must always reign beneath dusk. <laughs> and that was dusk. I really fucking liked it. Um, episode 2 was seriously disappointing. It was aimless, the levels were frustratingly designed, and the end boss can suck a cactus. But episode 3, holy shit, made up for it. 
episode three was so good. Um, and as I said, that fight with Nia Lathotep at the end, that is what I hoped at the end of Quake. Honestly, if, if Quake had been this, we probably would have been cool with that. Like, boss fights that were actual bosses as opposed to a switch hunt and then nothing until we telefrag the jelly mold. Um, like this was so good. Um, so I, I will happily look past the, the bits that were frustrating, the bits that were tedious, um, in favour of the fact that it was a really fucking good game. Are there any expansions for this? Like mission packs or, or whatever? Aw, for Lavender. Pray that you never meet me in my thousand other forms. See, that, um... <clears throat> That blue circle strafey slaughter arena. I'm just imagining, thinking back to Shubnagorath in Quake, uh, the the black goat in the woods with a thousand young. That slaughter arena would have s served so well for. You know, that could have been the setting for the thousand young, so to speak. Have a, a more sprawling map. Have. You know, a thousand... I mean, though those... Uh, what were they? Sickies? They would have been... A good starting point for that kind of a, a character model. Um, <clears throat> although I know that the, the artist depictions of them are more stationary things. Um, if anything, closer to what Shubnagrath actually ended up looking like. Um, with a fight like that afterwards. Yes. Though they do tend to look more like, I don't know, coral or anemones or something. Um, in the few artworks that I've seen of them. But, <clears throat> Quake is Quake, Dusk is Dusk, they are both really good games. I loved playing this um, so much. I don't know what I've got coming after this now, actually. Um, but it is after midnight, I have been going for three and a quarter hours. And I'm going to call it there so that I can rest because I've still got a long weekend of work ahead of me. But thank you for unwinding with me, everyone. Bloom, send me information about Bloom in Discord, please, mail. Ah. I've never played Blood. I've seen it. I've watched Ghost play it. I've watched Civi play it. Um, I'm sure I've watched others play it as well. But I've never... <coughs> I've not played it myself, um, but yes, I'm going to go and have a rest. Thank you all for your company, um, and until the next stream, cheers. <laughs> Good night, guys.